It was an interesting sort of thought when I first came up with Road to Discovery. Um, I didn't know what to do in terms of uh, being the Dean of the College of Science and wanting to participate in this rare disease effort. So I wanted to do something meaningful where uh, I could, you know, make a difference for this cause. I was riding my bike one day with my wife, Renata, and uh, we said, I said to her, how about we do something big this summer? How about we, we ride symbolically to bring the Aeroprosigia Research Foundation to Notre Dame from Tucson to the Dome? It was just a way for me as Dean, who oversaw the effort, to actually be a part of it in, in a bigger way than just kind of managing at a high level. Neem and Pick, if both the mother and the father are carriers, there's a one in four chance that your uh, child will be born with this disease. But unfortunately, there's a lot of families like the Parsikians out there that have more than one child with Neem and Pick. There's one in their very own backyard, the Smith family, who has been fighting this disease for years. It's worth fighting for. These are great kids. Um, they have a fight in them like no other. And these kids just have a personality about them that can change the world. They meet people and they, they melt your heart. The researchers get to, to put, a, put names with who they're helping. Um, that really, uh, I, I think it, it's motivating. And, and obviously it's motivating for us to know that there's these tremendous people um, out there helping our cause. We have amazing faculty members, uh, Paul Helquist, who identified a drug that works you know, in the Petri dish that's now in clinical trials at the National Institute of Health with many of our other partners. And you know that's amazing if this comes full circle and one of our own very own scientists one of our very own medicinal chemists actually discovers the drug that takes care of this disease. It would just be an amazing story to end that way. Notre Dame is the ideal place for this effort because it's part of our mission. You know, people say the market's not big enough, and I say, well, if there's just one kid with the disease, the market sure is big enough if we can save that life. You know, it's too costly. Well, if it's one life, then there's no cost that could ever make up for that one life. It cuts life very short, it's devastating for the families, the end of life is horrible. And so if we can make an impact on a few hundred kids and get this disease solved for this neem and pick disease, then move on to the next disease and the next disease, I think it's just a great story for Notre Dame and how we sort of couple with our mission.